Macy is in the aquarium. <laughs> you seeing anything cool? There's a really big catfish over there. Should we try to catch something like that today? Yeah. Give me another one. All the way back there. Give me another one. As I'm walking around, I wanted to take a second to thank a channel sponsor of mine, Audible. Audible has an unmatched library of books that you can listen to online. I'm actually listening to Fishing on the Edge by Mike Iaconelli. I would highly recommend this one. But for those of you guys who don't enjoy actually reading, like, uh, like myself, they've got some bass fishing tip books that you can listen to as well as tons of other ones that if you guys like I said if you don't like actually reading like myself then that is something that you can do if you guys want to try it out go to audible.com slash fish with flair try it out free for 30 days they're a huge supporter of mine they allow me to do what I love each and every single day which is fish and film and provide you guys with some videos that you guys hopefully enjoy watching so big thanks to audible for supporting my channel now I need to find an ice auger to use so I can actually go fishing Three and a half inches? Oh yeah. All right. So as you guys can probably tell, I'm not ice fishing with Macy like I was planning on it. Uh, we went to a lake and it was actually much like this where it was partly open and we couldn't get on the ice. Um, this time I drove like an hour and 15 minutes to get to this pond um, with Josh right over there. He's chilling. We, uh, we basically had to throw, throw our stuff across the ice uh, we packed pretty light. We've only got about three inches, which is enough, but I would not recommend doing what we're doing because it's going to be 50 degrees today, which means we may end up getting stranded on this little uh, little deer here. But we're, we're fishing some ponds today, going after some giant largemouth, some crappie, some bluegill, and uh, yeah, so it should be fun. You're golden. Oh. You're golden. My, my foot's soaking wet, but I'm good to go. Golden. <laughs> My boot got wet, but that's all right. It's uh, it's worth it. Hopefully, hopefully we can catch some fish on this little puddle here. If you're ever tired in the morning, just stick your foot in the ice cold water. I'll wake you up in a hurry. That's definitely funny. We shouldn't be falling through. Yeah. All right, so I tied on a little little jig there. We're gonna we're gonna start throwing some minnows wax worms like i said we're going after trophy bass for at least the meantime we've got some we've got a few more ponds around here that you can catch some maybe like crappie um but my goal today is to catch a big bass through the ice on a rod too that's 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 the other part of the goal is to catch catch on an actual rod instead of a tip up okay let's see if we can catch one you got one? Oh god we already got one Yep. You got it? Yep. Alright, we're good. There we go. That, I told that, you there was a... Was that on the minnow? Yep. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> Look at that fish, yeah. dude. Nice. Not there you go. Banging. That's two and a half or and so. been here for how long? Yeah, that was, uh, that was like the second drop down there. I told you there was a bass in there. <laughs> dude, good work. Nice. They're chunky. Some yeah. of them are kind of skinny, so... On the minnow, huh? On the old minner. All right. Well, it might be it might be something to that. We'll see. We 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 haven't been here for very long. Well, and it's already somewhat worth uh, walking through open water. Yeah. There you go. All right. All right. First one of the day. Let's go with Marv. Marv. See you, Marv. Absolutely don't care about bluegills. I'd maybe try putting them in. On okay. That's what I'll do. I want to just catch a big bass. So I've made the change to the, the minnow already. Like I said, this my goal is to catch some big bass. That's something I haven't done all year. I've caught a lot of panfish and just a lot of smaller bass. No big in. So that's that's gonna be my goal is to catch a big bass. I'm switching the minnow after Josh pulled out that two and a half. Really hoping to catch one of these dudes. This year, but I've known Oh the flag, dude, the flag, the flag. We got a flag going. All right, we got the first flag. You take it, you got it. Let's see what she is. I think she's a bass. Yeah, it's gonna be a bass. Got it. Got it? Yep. Yeah, buddy. Feels slow and decent too. 
Oh golly! Oh, I think we got a big one. It's not a one pounder. I can tell you that. Nice, dude. Oh, I there see her. I see her. She's right there. No, that's not huge, but that's a good fish, though. Slam that tip up. I heard that flag just dude, ping, ping, ping. This is my first tip up to go off on the year, and I've definitely put them out. Oh wow, that's a big one. Yep. He's not tiny. Yep, that's a good one for sure. There you go. Oh, come on, girly. There you go. <laughs> That'll work. Nice, dude. Good work. That's a nice fish. Not a giant. I thought it. I thought it was feeling like a. Yeah, I mean it was sure pulling like a big, and that's still a nice fish. Second fish. That was a tip-up fish. Oh yeah. So those are two on minnows. We've been kind of hop, hop, hole hopping, and jigging around. We just got the uh, the second fish of the day. With very limited success, to say the least. Yeah, it's been it's been a grind. It's really been a grind. We've been drilling holes constantly, but. There you go, nice fish. This one's this one's for the daughter. See you, Kate. That's the second fish. Like I said, it's been it's been a heck of a struggle to say the least. We've made we've probably drilled 15 to 20 holes, and we've just been hopping around about every like five minutes or so I'm moving holes. Um, I'm switching to wax worm, minnows, we're using a couple different baits. That was on a tip up, just kind of dead sticking it. So one thing that uh, Josh was saying is when the fish start to bite, like once you get one, you usually get a whole bunch. So I'm hoping this is kind of like the start of a little flurry. Hopefully we can capitalize and catch a few more. And then like, so there's another pond over there. If we can get off this pond, without getting soaking wet, we might actually hop over the other pond and see if we can catch some, some pan fish or whatnot. But I'm gonna quit talking and go back to catching fish. Oh, that one's going. Yep. Got him. He feels good. He's, oh, he just dropped, he just dropped it. That's all right. He I'm just, pretty good about our oh. He just dropped it. It's all right. You win some, you lose some, folks. Especially with tip-ups, because you're just reeling with your hands. You know, you don't have like a really good drag system, obviously, and you don't want to. You don't want to horse them out, but you also need to drive the hook and not let them get any slack. And it's just kind of a tough balance using light line. But we'll get another one. Well, that sucks. That was the first opportunity I had to catch a fish, and I. I screwed it up, but it's not the easiest thing in the world to do with tip-ups. The thing is, there's a lot of big fish here, so I'm kind of babying them, making sure they don't get broken off. Next time, I think I'm just gonna just do my best to bring them in, but we'll get another one. We'll get another one. All right, Peric, let's get this thing out. So it's now like 11 or so. We're gonna head to the other pond. We're leaving all of our tip-ups. We got like seven or eight tip-ups and we're gonna go to the other pond. We gotta walk through water again to get to the other pond. So we're gonna leave the tip-ups here because this is where the big bass are. We're just gonna go see if we can actually catch something because it's been a little slow and I wanna pick this video pace up a little bit. So it may get interesting if we're on the other side and one of the tip-ups go off because then I gotta basically run and dolphin dive onto the ice from the bank and try to catch the fish. That, that might get a little interesting, but we're gonna head to the other side and maybe catch some panfish or some bass. There are some big bass in there though, so we're gonna hopefully catch something, catch something decent. But for, so far it's been pretty slow. Okay, here goes nothing. I think I'd take a long step. <laughs> I literally just broke this entire piece. I just made that entire thing crack. Getting off is probably not even going to happen. We're probably just going to be stranded on this. See what I do for YouTube. I risk my life for you guys. So hit that like button right now. I got one. Yes. Finally, you want to pull that thing out. Yeah, buddy. Oh, finally. First fish for me. I almost had a double. I just had one swipe it. Oh, yeah. Come here, little buddy. There we go. That'll work. That'll do. That's what we're looking for. Right in the top of the mouth too. He just, I wasn't even paying any attention either. I just like went to go jig and it was there. And he was there, yeah. It's like you don't look at him for a second and all of a sudden they uh, they hop on it. Well, there you have it folks. 
first fish for me it's like 11 30 so we've been out here for quite some time now but you know it's like i said it's not a giant we came here for big bass and we came to the other pond which we knew that there might be a little bit smaller just to catch some fish for you guys i think you guys would rather see me catch this than nothing at all um we're gonna stay here for probably 40 more minutes maybe catch a few more and then head to the other pond check our tip ups and hopefully hopefully a big one is on the line all right see you later steve So I just want to take a second and show you exactly what I'm using. I mean, it's a really, really complex uh, technique. It's a little lead jig head, white one, and pretty much a half dead minnow hooked through the back. That's that's the the the, the strategy today. Um, for those of you guys who maybe don't ice fish a lot or are looking for tips, any I mean, I think 90 probably 95 percent of the bass I've ever caught in my life ice fishing have been on minnows, and then probably like 95 percent of panfish I've caught have been on waxworms and probably 95 percent of trout i've ever caught have been on salmon eggs or corn so that's not really a ton of help but i like to help you guys as much as i can those are about all the tips i can give you for now but i'm gonna drop this thing back down in the hole and try to catch some more bass oh i got one on it come on eat it big guy he was on it he he, he nicked it i felt it there you go That's a bluegill. It's a giant hybrid. That you got a giant whoa! That might be like oh my god! Oh, oh. Like, oh, it's a hybrid. Oh my god. god! What is that? That is a giant hybrid. Look at that fish. Do you guys see how insane that thing is? That thing is a big. That blue. is massive. So I'd say it's at least ten, ten and, and a quarter, half. Yeah. Ten and a half. There you go. Nice. There's one. There's one. He didn't even show up on the... Yeah, you want to pull that thing out? There we go. He didn't show up at all on that. Oh, shoot. Like I said, he got a 12-pound test on that. Okay. Ah, finally. He did not show up on the graph. He just smoked it. Get up here, big... Oh, come on, big guy. Don't... don't you don't got to be like this. Yeah, son! That'll work. Finally! Oh, it feels like a year since I caught one of these little guys. Perfect. Said he didn't show up at all on the graph. He just, just he must have just come out of nowhere and just chomped it. Look at how red his lips are. That's a good fish. Well, folks, so that's that's about a wrap on today. We still have another adventure ahead of us, and that is getting off of this pond onto the next one, picking up, and then getting off of it without falling through the ice, which is a definite possibility because we're on like an inch and a half right now so i would definitely not recommend this whatsoever to anybody if you're walking and you can hear it cracking and you can feel the ice sinking as you're walking don't go fishing but for me today it paid off caught that little dude right there okay let's put him back see you later earl as you guys can see he is I'm safe. he's safe and sound as he was walking he basically broke all the ice and kind of leaped onto the shore. So I have no, not really anywhere out without getting getting wet. And this is only the first pond. This is getting out of the first one. We still have to get into another one and then get out of another one. So this might uh, this might be kind of fun. Yeah, I'm screwed. Oh, unless oh no, that's kind of no, that, that's worse too. <laughs> Oh, sick! Alright, that just ruined that part. Okay, I'm starting to get stranded here by the second. Uh, I think my best bet is to like run and leave here. What do you think? Uh, it could be interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm dead ass stranded out here. What the hell am I gonna do? Um, I say down here. Oh my god. <laughs> Remember what I said about don't do this at home? Yeah. This is why. This is <laughs> Are you good? Oh. <laughs> Run. Throw it. <laughs> okay. Let me get my phone out. What was over here? There's a couple rods, but I don't care about mine. Okay. 
right. Okay. All right. That was not on purpose. Okay. How you feel? Awful. My GoPro dot just toasted. All right, guys. Let me take this out. All right. Did you get that on camera? Now we got a video. The fishing sucked. That sucks, dude. We just lost two poles. Now nah, we'll be able to get them somehow. Maybe. I'm freezing, dude. Okay, let me, let me, let me figure out my life <laughs> real quick. Well, if you guys were wondering how to lose two fishing rods, ruin an iPhone, a GoPro, and a Vexlar in five seconds, that's how you do it. We got, we got to go back. I got to go back because I'm already wet. I got to try not to fall through again. This is not, this is bad. This is actually way, this is such a bad idea. Don't, please do not do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming with you. We made it, boys. 20 minutes later. Okay, we got all of our stuff. It's time to get off without dying for the second time. Oh. Well, we only fell in once, so I guess I guess it could be worse. We're going to put all this stuff in my truck drive an hour back home and throw all of my electronics in rice. Hopefully they, uh, hopefully they're not completely dead.